We'll start with uh, understanding the basic uh, Linux related commands, okay, basic and uh, advanced level, okay, the what is file permission and all the things. We'll just take a look at that, okay, and uh, th because these are the important uh, uh, thing, okay, because once you start work on uh, the cloud, everything is Linux, Unix system, okay, no Windows there, okay, hence you should be familiar with all the Linux commands. And the important the interviewer also will expect you to be good at uh, you know the Linux. So see, there are some employers, right, or the uh, companies or enterprises they cannot afford buying um, the scheduler tool, everything. So in that case, right, they want you to schedule the jobs using cron. You have something called C R O N cron jobs. So in that case, obviously you should know um, you know how to write uh, the shell script. And I uh, you know first of all, you should know what is the uh, what are the commands that are available in Linux. All the things you should be knowing. It. Only then you should be able to write the shell script and all. Okay. So first, we'll start with uh, understanding the navigation and uh, file operations. Right, how to perform that? I just um, go here. See what happened now uh, to install Linux. For example, Ubuntu Linux. Uh, you know, the, it's a open source. You can download it and install it. But once you install it. Your operating system, Windows operating will go away. You can you can do one thing. You can uh, install it with a dual boot mode. Okay, you can install Linux uh, and uh, Windows also together, but it requires an additional effort. Sometimes when you try to set up the dual boot in your laptop um, for the um, Ubuntu um, Linux, right? Sometimes what will happen? It will overwrite uh, the existing Windows file system. Also, you need to be a bit cautious. And again, it's a painstaking project. It'll take time to install everything, right? To setting up the dual boot, all the things are painful. Okay, what we do? There is something called, uh, you know, the online Unix terminal. Okay, so online compiler uh, Linux like um, Python online compilers are available, right? Without even installing the Python, you can go and search it in the Google. Um, uh, give me the Python compiler. You will find a lot of uh, compiler when you click on it. So you'll see some browser, you can type the commands here on the right side, you'll see the output there, okay? So, so likewise, uh, even for Linux, uh, with tutorials point, uh, this is available, okay? So with this one, we can uh, use it. The other option is you can install VirtualBox, or there is something called Oracle VirtualBox. You can go and download it when time permits from the Google, download it and install it in your uh, Windows system. But again, you need to have minimum 8 GB RAM in your laptop. Even with 8 GB RAM, it is very slow. If you have 4 GB RAM, you can't even open the uh, one. You can install it, but once you install it, when you try to open the virtual box um, or the VMware, it takes longer time. Okay. So 8 GB RAM is required. That is addition, that is an additional constraint for you people. Those have less than 8 GB RAM. Okay. And again, you need to um, download the image for the uh, Ubuntu Linux or so. And then you can open that uh, image in that one. It will literally slow down your system performance also. Even though you have 8 GB RAM, yes, I have installed Oracle virtual box, virtual box, or you can also install VMware. Even in the VMware, you can open the uh, image which you downloaded for um, Ubuntu Linux. Even that one, right, it will be very slow. Okay. So what uh, we will do is for the time being to explore uh, what are the commands that are available in Linux? We will uh, see it with this um, online compiler, uh, compilers, Linux compilers. Okay, tutorialspoint.com. Yeah, I'll just share it. Um, pretty, don't worry. Okay, I'll just share it to all the chat window. We can also, you know, try, try this. Click on this URL. Okay. First, we'll start with understanding the navigation and file operations. Okay, I just um, give me a second. I'll just find this First, we will start with explore the basic commands. Okay, and here I just start with 
uh, let's use this command, okay, navigate and um, file operations, how to navigate and perform file related operations. But here it is doubtful, uh, you know, the file, you know, you can, uh, whether you can upload the file or not, right? That's a little bit challenging. So what we'll, we'll try, what are the commands that are working here? PWD. The first command was PWD. Okay, I just typed PWD. Or I'll do one thing. I'll just, um, just, you know, just give me a second. I'll just clear it. Yes, you need to be very much uh, comfortable with the um, Linus commands and shell scripts. Shell, shell scripts are very much important, uh, Preeti, because um, they will ask you to write some shell script to schedule, even the scheduler tool also, right? You need to use some, uh, you need to create your own shell script. That script, shell script, you need to call it from the scheduler tool, okay? Uh, like I said, right, um, it is not that Cron, there is something called cron is available. I just type it in the screen, okay? C R O N. Okay, you have something called cron. Okay, cron, there is something cron. Uh, with the cron, you can uh, schedule the um, jobs. What are the jobs that you can schedule it? So, even the case of cron, right? You can specify the time, what time and what day that specific cell shift will run in which environment. That is fine. But uh, in that case, right, obviously you need to have some cell script and so on, okay? So to schedule that, okay, to schedule a job. But even if you have Airflow or, you know, different other um, Airflow is meant for orchestrating your um, uh, pipelines and so on. Uh, but any other uh, the job schedule and tool, right? So still you need to use the case, you know, the, the, the uh, con shell script, okay? Anyhow, we'll see one by one. I just clear the screen. And here I'm going to type PWD, press enter. You can see that it's a present working directory. Home, CG, root. This is what you can see. This is a P print working directory, okay? Print working directory or present working directory, okay? So, and you have something on LS command. Yeah, you can also try side by side. Uh, Supriya, yes. You can go to this uh, site, tutorialspoint.com. I just shared the link uh, in the chat window. You can open up and practice it side by side along with me. Okay, whatever things that are. Look at the LS will give you list of directory contents. If you want to you know, list the directory contents, you can use the LS. So here I don't have any file. Okay, I don't have any file. For example, I'm going to you create a file here. How do I create a file here? Using a touch command. Okay, file one dot txt file. I created this file and I'm going to type ls. You can see that file1.txt file got created. The file1.txt file got created with the zero record because I did not insert any data in this, right? And uh, yeah, so that is the one thing. And um, yeah, so next thing is um, cd, change directory. Okay, for example, before that, we will see what is how to create a directory, create mkdir sascan. Okay, I just created the directory called sascan. I just clear it and I'm going to PWD, sorry, print working directory. Currently it is there. And I'm going to type L or LS. LS gives you the list of files and folders, uh, list of directories, directory contents. Okay. So in this directory, in this directory, what are the files and other directories are available? Sub files, sub directories. Okay. Here SASCAN is there. If I want to go to the SASCAN folder, CD SASCAN. Okay, now currently, if I type PWD, you can see that previously where, you know, in this, uh, you know, this is the default folder, okay? So in this folder, we have created an additional folder called Saskan, it's a subfolder. And after I did the CD Saskan, currently we are in which directory? So in this, uh, maybe right root folder, in the root folder, uh, we have a subfolder called Saskan, currently we are located here. And I'm going to type ls since we did not create any file here. It shows nothing here. Okay. Mm, the file one dot txt. Yeah, still it shows right the file one dot txt which we created in the parent uh, directory. And uh, the other things also it shows. Anyhow, uh, you can ignore this one. Okay. And ideally it should uh, display followed by the command like this. But here it is not displaying this because we don't see any file here. So you know, touch. Mm, subfolder file something like that okay dot txt touch will create a file 
with the blank values in it. Okay, if you want to create a dummy file, right? You can use um, the touch command. I'm going to press enter. So I'm going to type ls now. You can see that uh, the file1.txt and uh, subfolder file.txt and then it's asking. So it shows the previous directory also, right? So look here, current. Oh, okay, it went to the, okay, sorry, cd. In Saskin and here, uh, yeah, here I want to create the support, right? Okay, touch. I just uh, use the previous command. And touch. So the command, right? So bash command, okay, cd sas 10. And here, um, yeah. ls, if I give, nothing is there. Okay, touch subfold.txt. And here, if I see sas 10, if I type subfold.txt is there. And if I want to be the content of this file, how can I do that? Cat command. Cat is to see the content of the file subfold.txt since this file does not have anything it is not showing anything ignore this command okay so this is um uh just a system generated message you can you know simply ignore it so this file does not have any content in it so what i will do is i will just go here but if i type ls it shows everything here, right? So I just, um, yeah, it, it goes to the parent directory automatically, but this is something, you know, specific to this uh, online thing, but in general, it will not go back to the previous folder automatically, okay? Unless you give cd dot dot, okay? Is it clear? So what uh, I do is I just say support dot, I want to see the content of this file. I just say cat, and it is not showing anything. I, you know, and but what happens here is it goes back to the previous folder automatically. I just move to the Saskin folder. LS minus LTR is also available. So the LS followed by that, this is the option minus LTR tree structure. It will show the tree structure with the permission, the user and the group which he belongs to, and then the file permissions, everything will, the file name, what date the file got created and the file permission, everything will be displayed along with the file names. Okay. LS minus LTR command. Uh, so you can use LS also, but when you use LS, right, what file is there, it will show that sort. But uh, who is the owner of this file, right? So webmaster and which group this uh, user falls in, the group name is also webmaster and what privileges, you know, he has a re, RW stands for read, write. Okay, read, write. Uh, this is the owner, UGO, owner group, uh, you know, others, okay. So others have only read only privilege, okay. So this is the file. Okay, you can use LS or LS minus LTR. Okay, don't worry, I will discuss everything step by step uh, in the next session also. Okay, since today being the first session, right, we, you know, regarding the topics, CD Saskin, I just go here and here. If I type ls, yes, subfold dot, this file has no data in it. What I will do is I, I just type subfold dot txt, cat space subfold dot txt. So if I press enter, it will show the content, whatever the contents are there in that file. And we know very well in the subfold dot txt, we don't have any data. We just use the touch command, touch space subfold dot txt. It created a dummy file, okay? It, it, in the sense, you know, this file does not have any data, okay? And here I just say, uh, welcome to Linux, something like that, okay? I just press enter. Mm, no such file or, okay, okay. Uh, and yeah, okay, so this is the problem with this one, the online compiler. We can't use the previous command. And anyhow, I just uh, try this one again here. I just copy paste it. Ideally, this is a text, right? I'll just, I'll have to put it inside, double quote here. Let me do one thing. I just put it inside a double quote. Yes. <clears throat> now, I just um, type PWD. I just clear everything. 
Okay, and I just uh, say ls minus ltr. Here it is not showing anything. Okay, see this as then maybe you know, these guys will be keep uh, you know deleting the file contents also here. Okay, thank God it is there. The subfold.txt is there, but um subfold.txt it is not showing anything here, right? So still I have used the cat command subfold.txt greater than greater than right so output uh this one welcome to uh, linux uh no such file or directory this is the problem here so cd sas can cat um sub code dot uh, txt is greater than greater than welcome to this enough I just check okay we are in this folder so ls minus ltr if i see here so even now right it is not showing anything unfortunately the it's not writing because space limitations other thing right? because we are using somebody else's uh, linux compiler hence it is not storing the value there so uh, we will give it a try one more time cat uh, support.txt and i think uh, you know this is the one Okay, I need to see this one using control D or control Z. Control Z is not working here. Okay, since I have used less than right, it, it is asking for input. There is an issue here. What I will do is I will just um, Uh, reload or anything is we have to reload it. Okay, so if you understood pw print working directory and ls command is nothing but uh, print the contents of the um, directory. Okay, so and then ls minus ltr it will give you the tree like structure. With that, you can and find out you know which date and time this file got created. And also, it displays the user name which user created this file and this user belongs to which group. And also, it gives you the file permissions. Okay, whether you know who can have uh, the read-write privilege, who can have read-only privilege. That is what you can see here. Okay, any of the privileges we'll discuss it later. Okay, and we have a cat uh, command using which you can um, see the content of the file, and we have a touch command using touch command you can create a file, blank file. Okay, touch. I just uh, go here and uh, we'll reload it again. See anything free, uh, you know, they will not give us storage space on top, right? You cannot uh, store files and everything there. So print working directly. And here I just say ls, nothing is there. Again, I'm going to create mkdr slash 10. And here I just see in this folder, yes, yes, then is there only one folder is there, no files are available. And if I go here and then if I type nothing will be there. And now to create a file, touch um uh, file one dot txt, touch file two dot txt, and then what you do is ls minus ntr when you use it. So in this um folder, SAS can folder. You have two files, file one dot uh, txt, file two dot txt. The two files are the right, and two files are there. If you want to see the uh, and here, uh, you know the file size are you know containing uh, nothing here. So how to view the content of this file? Cat command. Cat uh, sorry. Cat uh, file one dot txt. If you see here, nothing is there, right? So present working directory is cd sas So nothing is there in this, okay, because uh, we did not put anything. Cat file one dot txt. What you can do is you can type the file name followed by the um, file name, okay, and then use double greater than here sign double greater than, and then put some you know text into this one. Welcome to Linux or something like that. Okay, I just press enter. This one is working, but um, no such file or directory. The file one dot txt is not available. That is what is saying that. 
this is crazy thing. Ideally, it should um we have done this one in this one, right? Inside the thing. And here the file one dot tc is available. I just copy and paste it. So here uh, these guys uh, by default, right? Switching over to the previous directory automatically. See, it is not there in this as component. That, that's the problem. So I want to create something else. If, there, if I wait for some time, yeah, it will keep display like this. So here we can see what file that we created. So how do I create this one? Yeah, so the cat uh, command, sorry, touch command that I used it. So here I just say file one dot txt. Again, we will try it out and uh, no, it's just, so the moment you use cat command, it goes to the previous folder automatically. This is one drawback with this online compilers, okay? It has some limitations. So ideally you can use the cat command to view the content of the file and also you can um, uh, you know, write some content into a file a little like this. So the cat, the file name, and then redirect. This is redirect. Okay, redirect this file to this values. Okay, these values will get stored in your file one dot txt. Txt. That is how it should work. But unfortunately, it is not um, uh, getting created. Anyhow, don't worry. But understand the idea here. Okay. Then and also, how do I copy the files? For example, I am in the current folder okay let's see. one second we will check it's always good uh if you keep type pwd so that um you know you will get to know where you are working okay which folder you are currently in okay so in this folder we have file one dot uh, file two dot txt is there what i do is a copy file one dot txt to the previous folder okay Sorry, not that one. Uh, here, pwd. Okay. Or let's do one thing. File one dot txt to file three dot txt. We will do it that way. See, that's the problem. Every time it goes back to your previous folder. Um, cp file one dot. Because he, you know he has some uh, limitations, is okay. We cannot. So if you want to copy, uh, you know the file, right? One can. So okay, what I will do is I'll just uh, currently I will just create uh, another file here. Touch file um, a dot txt. Cp file a dot txt to my uh, the subfolder SAS file. Okay. Or else we will give the full path. Okay, this wire. Okay, CD SAS can. And if I go and type here, see, look here, file dot txt dot copy. Okay. So this is how it works. So ideally what we'll do is right, we'll install Linux also later point in time because uh, we need to um, complete the ML of stop is quickly because it, it takes a longer time, which one the Linux part. I will see to that, you know, is there any way that, you know, we can, I can get some dump and I can share it with you so that simply you can plug in and uh, use it. Just give me a second here. 